Today I'm over in Sebastian River over at the uh, canoe launch spot and that's on the upper end of the South Fork of the Sebastian River and today I'm here with Sea and Shoreline and Brian Brushwood we are looking for signs of seagrass if there is any signs of seagrass I seen something earlier in the week that did look like it could be some type of seagrass so I'm taking a biologist up there we're gonna check it out and if it is we're gonna try to mimic that seagrass and replant and help restore the Sebastian River so it's gonna be pretty interesting I got my hopes up but you don't know until you have someone that really knows what they're looking at look at it Just up ahead here. So, yeah. Is that yellow grass? What's that? It's right here. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Uh huh. It's either, it looked like either like maybe the start of some kind of emergent plant or it looked like a grass called strap grass. Sagittarium. Mm hmm. And I can't, it's hard to tell because the top, top is grazed down. Right. It has a very distinct point to it. You see it in spring systems, Santa Fe River, you see it in the Hitchnatucky, places like that. Yeah. to be like a one of the emergent plants that has creeped in mm -hmm. um, and just established roots there and it's not really fun. <laughs> it's, a, it's cool that you saw that though you saw the only plant that's the only plant I've seen the whole time <laughs> I don't know under the water I think I saw something up, over up there, there. I'm yeah, gonna try on the other side I mean this is like if I was gonna hand pick a spot to plant eelgrass it, this whole run so far yeah and it just because it would just flow down everything would flow yeah. down and just spread but the, the, it's so solid and it takes a heck of a rain to get it to go up the flood yeah. over, over, over over the plain so and you said it doesn't hang around long when that no happens, so. uh -uh. yeah as long as it recedes quickly yeah you know if the rain recedes quickly the water recedes quickly what you got Horned or Sago Pond Reef, I'm not sure which one. But that's a common freshwater plant that can tolerate a little salinity, like Ballastinaria. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like Rupia a little bit when you see it growing, but. Yeah. So, what do you think, Ryan? You think it's a possibility? Yeah. For sure. I mean, I I think uh, eelgrass might grow back here. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to find the springs back there. You can tell as you go farther up, it just gets clearer and clearer and clearer. Yeah. Beautiful river. But um, yeah, absolutely. I like this site a lot. So it's neat. It's got my brain, my brain working. <laughs> good. So good stuff. But, Cool, and thank you for taking us out and showing it to us. Yeah, I wanted you to see that. Yeah, absolutely. So what I saw probably was well, it was a seagrass, but uh, anyway, that doesn't mean seagrass can't and has not grown here. We're trying to go back and check uh, records from years and years and years ago, to see what type of seagrass is here. Uh, sea and Shoreline does an excellent job of researching 
and not just planting seagrass and that's it. They want to make sure they probably they plant the right kind of seagrass so if you're in an area you think you have a good spot that you would like to see seagrass started or restored to an area where it's been wiped out it'll be worth checking out sea and shoreline if you look down below you'll see their address down here you go ahead and uh, look it up and reach out to them and they'll come out they will check your water they will see if it is a good spot or not to try to regrow seagrass and if it is there is no better team that can do it, in my opinion, than them. They really do an outstanding job. And I'm going to keep you updated if a project does get started here in Sebastian, which I think it does. I think there's a lot of opportunity to, to get a project started, and I think they think so too. So I'll keep you updated on how we're going here. Get your own project started. Get something going. Let's clean up this water. Let's not wait for someone else to do it. Let's take it upon ourselves and do it. And now's the time. So till next time, this is Pete Inc. We'll see you.